Hello everyone. So recently I had a ma I had made a video competitive programming adrenaline rush. So this video was meant to show how you get really nervous and anxious in the middle of contest and how you get really stressful also in the middle of the contest. So the video is basically in the video I've shown is that my heartbeat got up to above 100 in the middle of the contest in the middle of a problem. So this video is about how to tackle those issues because a lot of people feel that they could have performed better in the contest but still they couldn't. They could have solved more problems or they could have done better if they hadn't panicked, if they had managed their time properly or if they hadn't gotten nervous or things like that. So how do you deal with all that? So let's just take the example of code forces. So you're in a code forces round and obviously you want to do good you want to get better ratings you want to get a good rank a better rank but if you keep those things in mind and these things i'm saying from a beginner's point of view so these things will mostly be helpful for beginners only and if, if you think that you're having this issue of your mind stopping you from performing better your anxiety nervousness stress whatever it may be if that is stopping you from doing better then you should watch this video and continue with it. So if you're on code forces participating in a round, obviously you want to do better. But if you keep that in your mind, then it will put a pressure on your head. So the first thing which I want you to do is just understand that it's a round and you are there to solve as many problems as you can for you possible and to learn what you could not solve. So that's all. And after that, I just have some very basic trips which I'm going to elaborate on. So the first one is don't spend too much time on a single problem, especially A or B, this I'm talking about division 2. So what I see is a lot of beginners, even I used to do this before, is that if you're stuck on A, so there might be a trick which you're not getting at the moment. So and if you spend 40-50 minutes on div 2A, then you won't have time for B and C. Even if you're able to solve div 2B, you wouldn't get time. Even if you were able to solve, even if you would have been able to solve div 2c if you spend 40 minutes or 50 minutes or even one hour on div 2a then you won't be able to you won't be able to reach those problems so after a while just understand whether you're able to solve this problem or not especially on a or b or even c you should be able to find whether you can solve this or not if you're not able to solve then move on then read all the problems one because what happens sometimes is that is that sometimes some problems are easier for example there were many contests in which b was tougher than c or even a was tougher than b so if you're stuck on a and you don't move to b or if you don't move to c or if you don't move to even d and e have been easier in past contests than c so what you should do is you should read all the problems at least once and one more thing if i should add is that check the dashboard so Checking the dashboard, you'll be able to find if uh, C has more submissions than B, so you can move to C. And the next tip which I have for you is don't check the rank list because what you do is after every problem, you go to rank list, you see whether your friends are ahead of you, whether you're ahead of your friends, you see who all are ahead of you and that somewhat puts a panic in your head. So don't check the rank list, check the dashboard, but don't check the rank list. Check the dashboard at the end of the contest then check the rank list and this one is the most basic one be positive so this is the best thing that you can do and this is the thing that you owe yourself be positive no matter how tough it may seem just think that yes you will be able to do better till the last moment just be positive just think that yes I'll be able to solve this problem and I'll be able to do my best and follow everything but have a positive attitude and just remember it's a round and only then, only when you leave all, all the mind constraints behind, you'll be able to do better. And the fifth one is a difficult one because everyone, almost everyone using code forces has code forces rating predictor installed. And every after every question, they just see whether their rating will go up or will go down. So this also somewhat puts a pressure in your head. If you're focusing on rating too much, it's not good because you should have the mindset that you're there to solve problems and you're there to learn. If you just see that, no, I'm getting minus 30, I'm getting minus 20, then you'll stay fixated on that only. 
and it will start affecting your mind, you'll start to panic, you'll get anxious, you'll get stressful. And so it's better to not see the rating prediction. So just go and tackle the round thinking that you're there to solve as many problems as you can. If you solve the problem, good. If you couldn't solve the problem, then learn what was there in the problem and try to do better next time. This is how you can improve and you can get rid of the anxiousness, the nervousness and the stress which you would face on computer programming. If there are any other thing which you want to discuss or speak to me about, just put it in the comments. So that's all guys. Thank you.